color grading is a fantastic way to stylize your images and add a sense of atmosphere using color. And you can apply color grading to really dull images like this one here, where there aren't really any vibrant colors just to boost everything up. Or you can take a really colorful image and just stylize it in a really nice way. And there are lots of ways to do it, but we're going to take a look at a technique now where you effectively automate color grading using a gradient map adjustment layer. So to get started, we just need to create a gradient map adjustment layer. So click on the adjustment layer icon and select gradient map from the list of options. And the first thing that we need to do here is change the blending mode from normal to hard mix. And then we're going to take the fill down from 100 down to 30. And the reason we're doing this is that although opacity and fill are very similar, when we add a layer style in a few moments, fill won't have any effect on that. So it just works perfectly. So once all that's done, just single mouse click on the gradient itself to bring up the gradient editor. And then we just need to change the type from solid to noise. And then we'll take the roughness down to 5%. So now all that we need to do, you'll see there's a randomize button here. Every time we click that randomize button, we get a different style of color grading. But we're not quite finished yet, so I'm just going to find a color that looks okay and we're going to come back in so let's leave it at this one here so once that's done just hit okay and close the gradient map down there and then we are going to make sure that the shadows and highlights aren't affected by the color grading because as you can see here we've got some really deep shadows and the highlights in the sky are blowing so just double mouse click next to gradient map one, which will open up the layer styles and go down to blend if, and then holding down the alt key, or that would be the option key on a map, just separate the black point on the left. And then we're gonna do the same to the white point on the right. And then we're gonna take each half to the opposite side of that gradient there, and then just hit okay. And what that is doing, as I say, is just making sure that we maintain our shadows and highlights. So if you want to go back in and randomize again, just double click on the gradient map icon, single mouse click on the gradient itself, and then we can just play around with that randomize button again. So let's find a color balance that works for this particular scene. So we can just keep on scrolling through and we're getting a different effect every single time. So let's just go for this one here. So I'm going to hit OK and then close that down. So there is our before and there is our after. So what you can do at this stage, if the effect is too strong, you could take the opacity down to reduce it or you could hit Control and J, or that would be Command and J on a Mac to duplicate that layer. And then that's giving us double strength. So if this is also too strong, you could just reduce the opacity of that second layer just to add more control. Another thing that you can do is with that copied layer, you could go in and randomize again and add two different color grading effects together so that you're getting something even more unique than a single layer. So let's go for that one there, hit OK and close that down. So there we've just kind of warmed up a bit. It's a bit strong, so I could reduce the opacity. So as you can see, the possibilities are virtually endless. And that is how to automate color grading in Photoshop.